Olá, meu nome é Diagum, não é meu nome de verdade né, mas enfim, estamos aqui para Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater na versão Subsistence, que é a versão consertada do jogo, e eu vou jogar esse jogo, eu joguei Metal Gear Solid 2 recentemente, e eu tô muito ansioso para esse jogo, porque dizem que esse é o melhor jogo da série, e caralho mano, eu escolhi jogar no emulador porque eu posso jogar em 60 quadros por segundo, e eu acho que... Eu apertei o botão errado. E eu acho que isso pode me dar uma ajuda. Óbvio que Metal Gear é cheio de cutscene. E não tem o jogo em português, infelizmente. Ó, vou até... Mostrar? Não tem. Muito triste, né? Porém... Fazer o quê? É a vida. Vamos mudar New Game. Eu gosto de Metal Gear Solid 1. Não da gameplay. Metal Gear Solid... Pela primeira vez, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3. Como é que você selecionaria Metal Gear Solid 3 se você tá jogando Metal Gear Solid 3? Sim. Normal. Vamos aproveitar a história. Eu tenho certeza que vai ser uma loucura. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cap okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Pressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch.
Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. The virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB-754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top-secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story, so why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. He used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital handed him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? 
No. Missiles. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi palatinsk Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Eu acho muito interessante como o Kojima sempre usa história real no meio disso, no sentido de um jogo tem imagens... Bem, eu reconheci o Kennedy e tal, né? E de pessoal da União Soviética da época e do Yuri Gagarin. Realmente foi o primeiro cara a ir pro espaço. É muito legal. É muito imersivo, sabe? Porra, é muito incrível, sabe? Less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Enfim, eu acho interessante como Metal Gear é sempre é lá de plot twists que normalmente não fazem o menor sentido. Só que como agora eu sei muito sobre o mundo atual de Metal Gear, no caso 2000 e 2005, né, que é o Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear Solid 2, e agora a gente tá no passado, e eu acho muito interessante como existe um plot twist pra trás em Metal Gear, e, bem, spoiler alert, o Metal Gear Solid 2 acaba com você descobrindo que a sociedade secreta e o Big Boss, que é o nosso personagem principal nesse jogo, estava envolvido. Eles já estão mortos há, tipo, muito tempo. Mais ou menos há... É... Tanto tempo quanto esse jogo se passa, desde o... Até o segundo, né? Ok, então estamos aqui de boa. Vamos acostumar aqui com os controles, sair na porrada. Uh, a gente tem em primeira pessoa a visão. Tá bem fluido. Ótimo, temos uma faca. Mate, que porra é essa? Posso tacar. 
está. Um... Não posso fazer nada, tudo bem. E eu comi. Eu confundo os botões, droga, calma aí. Opções. Caralho, por que eu comi minha comida, gente? Opções, não dá pra resetar isso aqui? Não dá, desculpa, gente, a imersão foi quebrada agora. Desculpa, tem um mapa aqui. Pô, mesmo, eu comi o um negócio sem querer, que eu tenho que me acostumar com os controles. Sempre que tem um novo Metal Gear é sempre bom você ir se acostumando com os controles, né? Sempre é uma aventura. E aí? Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. É, ele parou de falar por quê? E aí, vai, o no code não vai ser Naked Snake? Não posso falar o nome do negócio de cobras? Como assim? Você já comeu uma cobra antes? No treinamento, treinamento de sobrevivência? Bom. Caralho, mano, eles fazem os soldados comerem cobras? Caralho. Você, Major. Major Tom. Snake. Pode tirar fantasia. Ah, pro pessoal não reconhecer ele como Big Boss, né? Louco. Bom contigo. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I liked snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, you'd better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. Entendi. Eu só vou fazer uma coisa. Vocês vão ficar... O que ele vai fazer? Eu preciso ir aqui. Ah, ok. Então, vamos lá. Interessante, interessante. Tá ali, né? Eu tô me acostumando. Aquilo ali em cima é o meu medidor de... E pode ficar em primeira pessoa pra eu olhar. É, okay. é o meu medidor de... Camuflagem, eu acho, né? Ó, tem uma cobra. Pode ser um pouco problemático. Porém, eu fico... Eu fico até bastante... 
bastante camuflado, né? As boss fights desse jogo ficaram muito marcadas na memória de todo mundo que jogou. Porque o Kojima, né? Uh, e jogos... Assim, você queira ou não... Eita. Queira ou não, você goste dele ou não, ele sempre investe muito em cada personagem, né? Às vezes até demais, né? Por exemplo, o capítulo 6 do Death Stranding, que eu joguei aqui no canal. É um inferno aquele Guilherme Del Toro, assim, vontade de matar a família dele. Porém, né? I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the Desculpa. upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fun. O jogo tá me ensinando, né? De boa. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark II hush puppy tranquilizer gun. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers. Caralho, um crime de guerra, a presença dele. International incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. Real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival okay. is of utmost Get importance. Search. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic. As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is Hello, my name is Joe Ninguém. É Zé Ninguém, né? Na verdade, eu falo. Daí o nome dela falou, ah, meu nome é Maria Ninguém. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. 
オタコ Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years is it then? Boss? That's right. It's me. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, Technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. Não, eu só fui dar uma lição de moral rápida. Desculpa. Voltando ao assunto. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You are a natural born fighter. But you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader. No matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the mission. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time. And so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything. Even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake. Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. 
Tá, o CQC é o Close Quarter Combat, né? É o combate porrada boa. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. O jeito que hoje fazia os personagens parecerem foda antigamente. Eu acho muito engraçado como... Porra, eu, acha, eu achei maneiraço o Mads Mikkelsen no, no Death Stranding. Certo, daqui a uns 10 anos eu vou achar é, engraçado também o quanto a tecnologia ainda tava pra trás, né? Que, que é interessante, querendo ou não, não dá pra você ter a mesma experiência do que jogando naquela época, né? Mas eu vou tentar o meu máximo. Bom. É, tem que subir na árvore. Tem como, só algumas árvores dá pra subir. Zoom crocodilo. Ah. Tá. Uma pílula. Highly addictive and hazardous to your health. Tá bem, né? É um sensor de detecção de movimento. Que é bom. Crocodilo. Morri. The game over. É sério. É sério? Caralho. Adremushi from plan. É escrito no idioma original, né? O Paquistão aqui, né? Ele tá no Paquistão. Tô enganado, é? Um, tá. Na verdade... Tem. Microfone, eu posso ouvir? Interessante. Eu posso... O básico nos inimigos, é bom você fazer sempre um inimigo mais superior, assim, né? Obviamente um animal vai, ser, vai ter uma capacidade... Quer dizer, depende do animal, né? Mas eu acho que é bem possível que um animal tenha uma capacidade de detecção menor do que a de um humano. Né? Só ver aqui. Tem alguma coisa ali? Tinha alguma coisa ali, mas eu... De não ter sido nada de importante. Vou tá por nada. SP MK22. Que porra é um SP MK22? Porra, mano, eu tenho que me acostumar com os controles. É. O MK22 é isso aqui, né? Que eu tô. Então é munição pra MK22 mesmo. Tudo bem. 
opção para o Close Quarters Combat, que é a porrada ali. Eu posso pegar minha faca? Ai, que susto. R, Snake, H. Que susto. Jesus Cristo. Eu tô tenso nisso aqui. Que porra... Mostrar uma tensão muito grande. Eu posso botar camuflagem... Porra. Posso botar camuflagem... É o que eu tô... Vou botar esse aqui. Vou botar naked, literalmente pelado. Interessante. Tá, peguei aqui. Eu não fico necessariamente bonito, mas guerra é guerra. Extremo X Norte. Spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK 47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face. Acabei de fazer isso. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Caralho, mano, isso é muito interessante. Porque, assim, eu não quero só exagerado, mas nenhum outro jogo aprofunda tanto que isso aqui aprofunda, sabe? Sniper. Ok, entendi. Vamos matar você. Ai, mano, a cobra me deixa tenso. Não, não gostei. Medo de cobra, mano. É, é, é... Opa, gente. Eu, eu tenho medo de cobra. Uma vez, seguinte, ó. Jagun compartilha coisas sobre a sua vida que ninguém perguntou. Só de um. Uma vez, coisa que eu vi uma cobra. Eita, porra. Uma vez vi uma cobra, né? Tô em casa. E entrou em casa de uma, da pior forma possível, que é sem você perceber. Daí, né, vai trabalhar fora? Ele, foi quando eu tinha tipo 6 anos de idade. Eu conto a história só, não lembro exatamente. Pegar esse corpo aqui. Vem. 
esquisito. Botão. Vou crouchear. Né? Por que, que eu não tô me crocheando de Tô no mapa muito aberto. O que eu posso fazer, né? Acho que isso aqui aponta pro norte e é pra lá que eu tenho que ir. Acabei de fazer. Percebem que eu acabei de fazer merda. Caralho, mano. É que só que eles estão muito bem camuflados, esses brothers. Deixa eu ver como é que eu me camuflo mais aqui. Caralho, mano, os controles desse jogo. Aqui. Nada não funciona, porra. Preciso botar outra coisa aqui. Caralho, mano. Nossa, mas a mira disso aqui. Tá ah, merda, hein? Ah, velho. Eu sei lá, hein. Ganho coisa, você fazer isso. É bom. Deveria, deveria dar pra eu responder o... Camado, vocês não acham que devia dar? Eu realmente acho que devia dar. O radar não funciona, né? Em pé aqui. Porra. Tem mais coisa aqui pra eu pegar. Mais balas. O de bug. Porra, um suco de bug. Preciso de um mapa, gente. Quer me ajudar com um mapa, hein?
Tá, aqui foi de onde eu vim. Pra cá que eu tô me direcionando. Aqui de onde eu vim. Tá, deixa eu só... Eu tenho que passar pelo mapa inteiro, gente. Aqui, onde eu vim. Beleza. Passei por ali. Essa localidade. Nada, né? Tranquilo, né? Tranquilo? Tranquilo. Ok, então agora a gente tem que passar por ali. Pera, mas deixa eu ver meu mapa aqui. Ah, tem ali vai ter uma saída, ok. Tá, porra. Opa, cara. Dá pra ficar farmando a mesma pessoa por itens pra sempre. Tô desculpa, senhor. E caralhos, eles estão me detectando. Ah, pronto. Caralho, mano. Do Lino Vodvo. Não, vira. Tem mais coisa aqui. Eu não tive que. Eu, 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 não, eu não tive como explorar ali. Ele esteja só enganado. Tipo, né? Porra. Caralho, mano, tudo bem, eu posso morrer, tudo bem. Todo. Eu quero saber se tem mais alguma coisa aqui. Não tem mais nada aqui? 
Nossa, tá muito revoltante, pra falar a verdade. Caralho, mano. Tá bom, não tem mais nada aqui. Foda-se, então. Mas se tiver, foda-se. Tá um mapa mal construído. É um jogo sobre exploração também. Não é um jogo só sobre combate. É o... Falando a verdade. Desculpa se a verdade não é. Mas eu... é verdade, não é? Cara, como vocês sabem que eu tô aqui? O quê? Como é que eu sabia pra ver o meu silenciador? Mano, não é possível. Tô muito triste, não é possível. É sério que eu tava com o meu silenciador aqui? Caralho, mano. Não tem que eu faça. Tem que eu faça. Snake, do you read? Snake. Major. Snake, are you all right? Yeah. I'm okay. You're far from okay. Look at your life gauge. You're on your last leg. No. I can still. Huh? See? Snake, this is a solo sneaking mission. Do you know what that means? Yeah. No, you don't. Huh? It means there's no backup. No cavalry. If you're taken out, nobody is there to take your place. Pull out for now and recuperate. Find a hiding place and get some rest. Your life gauge will gradually recover with time. Ah, não tem como. É o foda desses jogos é que quando você é descoberto, não tem o que você faça. Não tem o que você... não tem o que fazer. Esse é o maior problema desses jogos. O que que eu faço aqui? O que eu faço aqui? Ó, oh, não, tudo bem. Yeah. Olha isso, mano. Ah, eu tô meio triste com isso, hein? Falar real, real mesmo. Mais ali, tô atirando em mim. Pensei que tinha acabado, mas não acabou. Não, nunca acaba, né? Caralho, mano. Muito difícil de jogo, né? Eu tinha esquecido, era difícil. Jogou, mas agora que eu já zerei sete vezes, não é difícil, sério. Caralho, hein? Que foda que você é. Que você não aproveita e. Morre. Porra, né? Eita. Nossa, ele dá coisa só. Pelo amor de Deus, chega. Como é que você apareceu aqui? Isso. Uh. 
Uf, tá, posso comer? Posso comer uma... Python. Triste. Tem nada pra me curar. Posso dar pra mulher lá? Minha amiga, me ajuda. I see you caught yourself a reticulated python. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. Uh -huh. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. It's a huge snake, but you should be able to capture it alive by using the tranquilizer gun. I'll bet if you capture one and throw it at an enemy, it'll give him a good scare. Thank you. You've eaten one, haven't you? Yeah, it wasn't half bad. Cannibal. What was that? Eu sou snake também, né? Talk to you later. Na verdade, o Big Boss foi criado a partir de DNA de cobra. Ok, gente, vocês querem esperar comigo? Vamos explorar enquanto... Me recupero. Pedro. É. Essas armas que são dadas, né? Pra cá também. E cá, vinte e dois. Pois aqui, ó. E ah, aqui ó, feito que isso aqui é escondido. Um... O resto, um petazinho. Que eu faço aqui? Equipar Weapon. Ah, isso aqui é quanto peso eu carrego. Esse é feito merda. Um... Vou tirar uma por vez aqui. É mais seguro. E a gente tá conseguindo armas, né? Com um o tempo a gente vai ficando forte. E com o tempo vou aprender a identificar bicho. Mal, mas que se tá Foda que não posso usar arma agora. Tá sem também.
I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Awesome. É verdade, cão. Alva. Saving the game, Snake. Vamos salvar o jogo. Tá, é Nordeste. Na sessão Nordeste dessa. Você já viu Godzilla, o Rei dos Monstros? É um filme. Que parece que eu tô indo duas por vez. E aqui pro Japão. Se esperar 40 anos, você pode ver nos Estados Unidos. M4 vai ser o. Cinquentésimo ano do Godzilla. Cinquentésimo. Entendeu? Não é uma Godzilla. Pois é, né? Nossa, já faz. Então quer dizer que fazem 66 anos que o Godzilla foi criado. Agora em 2000. Sim. Tá ruim. Intimidador esse jogo. Extremamente intimidador. Uf. Ok. Hoje é um novo dia. Eu estou pronto para... Sonhos. ele não consegue Por que que ele não conseguiu Não, tá errado isso aqui Eu vou me matar Posso me matar? Tem como eu me matar? Porra Por que que eu não consigo esganar o brother por trás? Meu detector não, não funciona, né? Deixa eu só ir conhecendo o mapa aqui. Major, I'm in front of Sokolov's cell, but the door won't open. Hold on, Snake. What's the current condition? Condition? Yeah. What phase is it now? Alert. Exactly. I already said you can't contact Sokolov during battle. Don't you listen to people when they're talking? Well, 
Anyway, the reason that door won't open is probably because Sokolov is blocking it himself. He's scared. No one. In order to break Sokolov out of there, you'll need his cooperation as well. So stop scaring him. Contact Sokolov later after you've disengaged the enemy. Once things have stabilized, try it again. Got it? Ai, meu Deus. Mais, né? Vamos ficar vasculhando aqui as coisas. Foda da exploração de Metal Gear é que tem os tem os itens nos lugares muito merda, né? Todo mundo concorda comigo que o, o lugar de vários itens não faz o menor sentido e tal, e é, é overly complicated. Complicado demais, assim, tipo. Assim, o jeito que, o, que os inimigos são posicionados é até legal. Não sei por que que meu... É, eu não, não consegui... É... Não sei porque eu não consegui fazer o que eu queria, né? Mas tem. Aqui é só invadir, então, aparentemente. O foda é que, tipo assim... Porra, me deixa voltar pro menu, sabe? Qual que é o problema desse jogo pra não me deixar voltar pro menu? Options. Não é essas opções, eu quero voltar pro menu. E deixa recarregar isso aqui. Eu tô errado por querer voltar pro menu, por acaso? Não, mas eu vou ter que reiniciar a porra do jogo. Nossa, isso não é legal, cara. Aí, tá suficiente? Brother ali. Ah, pronto. Caralho. Nossos controles, isso aqui. Tinha esquecido. Por que, que ele se ajoelhou, inferno? Jesus, mano. Caralho, por que, que o inimigo é tão melhor que o Snake? Tem que tacar um negócio de fumaça. Vou pegar aqui. Deixa eu ver como é que tá meu peso aqui. 13. Está lento o jogo agora? Ficou lento. Por algum motivo. Eita.
Caralho, mano. Combate meio desengonçado, né? Assim. Caralho! É que o foda... Tá dentro, entendeu? Ah, mas tem gente em todos os lugares do planeta. Não consigo ver o bicho, mano. Me... Caralho, não dá pra ver. Acertei, acertei, né? Vocês sabem que eu acertei, né? Vocês... Tem alguma dúvida que eu acertei? Não dá pra acertar ele. Caralho, não tem como eu ser mais rápido que um cara desse? Meio desbalanceado, né? Meio esquisito isso. Meio esquisito, sem dúvidas. Pô, por que que de cada jogo pra cada jogo eles trocam os botões, porra? Caralho, mano. Kojima. De cada jogo, pra cada jogo, eles trocam os botões, mano. Como que eu vou a aprender a jogar uma, uma, uma franquia de jogo se cada jogo você joga diferente? E não é como se a gameplay de cada jogo fosse diferente. A gameplay de cada jogo é praticamente igual. Ah, mano, me mata então, já que vai ser assim. Esse é o foda do combate Metal Gear também, né? É que é desengonçado. Não é difícil, é só desengonçado. É só não funcional, sabe? Olha, acho uma shotgun. Ótimo, eu poderia não ver, porque o item placement é péssimo, né? Mas esse é o problema, sabe, do Metal Gear. Que o combate, ele não é difícil. O combate não é difícil. Entendeu? Esse é o problema. Nossa, deu pra ver claramente os problemas desse jogo agora, né? Você não vê porque você não joga jogos. Você não entende como funciona um jogo. Que porra. Tem uns probleminhas, hein. Uma coisa da... Meu sensor de movimento não funciona? Tem bateria? Eu não posso pegar mais bateria, não? Que só tenha um aqui. Tipo, você vai me dizer que não é gostoso você matar os inimigos? Óbvio que não, sabe? É muito gostoso você superar esse combate e matar os inimigos. Porra, como é, entendeu? Eu sei mais do que... Mais do que alguém que só tá vendo isso aqui pela primeira vez, porque eu joguei os outros jogos, eu sei que é gostoso, sabe? Eu realmente sei que é gostoso. É... E eu acho que esse é o charme da série e tal, porque às vezes fica meio difícil pra mim, sabe? Difícil pra mim de defender, às vezes. Nossa, sim, mas é uma atenção extrema detalhe, isso eu vou defender, porque porra... Os detalhes que esse jogo tem, mano. 
É, esse é o negócio, sabe, que destaca essa franquia. Não é o combate. É como o mapa é feito, sabe? É o world design, né? No, sei lá, o... É muito bem feito. Porra. É melhor do que qualquer outro jogo, assim. Possivelmente. Até dei um... Dei um save rápido aqui pra... Pra dar lá. Ótimo. Subi aqui agora. Por que, que o detetor de movimento... Ah, ele não tá funcionando porque ele tá sem pilha, né? Brother ali embaixo. Aí, ó. Esse é o foda, sabe, do combate. Quando o jogo... O jogo bota uma dessa. Eu só vi esses. Tu disse que são só esses, jogo. Gerar novos itens aqui. Quanto isso? Explorando aqui o mapa. Acho que tá. Acho que tá de boa mesmo. Talvez eu tenha que subir aqui. Ah, umas balas. E se que não tem nada aqui? Eu peguei a shotgun aqui. Aí também, tá? Bom. Fim de cura, né? Tá. Um, <coughs> eu vou comer uma Python. That's tasty. That's Tá, antes de fazer é, o negócio com o cara ali, que provavelmente vai triggerar uma cutscene, vamos matar uma outra cobra. Temos uma outra cobra. Já tá com a vida cheia? Vida cheia. Eu só queria isso mesmo. É, eu posso pegar item do, dos corpos mortos e tal? Queria umas baterias, inclusive. Porra, não dá pra atravessar. Por ali. Tem como eu gerar mais coisa do corpo morto? Um... Aliás, já que não tem ninguém aqui... Você 
come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gruel. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November, President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. Eles vão conectar o assassinato do Kennedy. Has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gruul. He has control over another secret weapons research facility, much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volkin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Ah, boss é russo, né? Is that so? Quer dizer, não sei se ela é russa, mas ela fala russo. America is truly a frightening country. Sim. Having second thoughts. No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Meu Deus. Peito
So this is the legendary boss. Ah, oh, meu Deus. O homem, a lenda. Celo. You, you're from the Oslot unit of Spetsnaz. What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Caralho, então. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. Ocelot never uh, has What? I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Ainda bem que ele fez isso na cutscene, né? Porque, credo, nunca conseguiria fazer isso.
You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Ah, se ele morresse aí estaria tudo mais fácil. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov too. Apparently they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A group colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgans. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. Ok, então a gente tem que fazer o que a gente faz de melhor, né? Que é mexer em cadáver. House trap. Pode matar o ocelote, mentira, não vou matar o ocelote que vai que cria um paradoxo na linha do tempo. Será que não tem mais ninguém pra... Cadê o amigo? Tem alguma coisa aqui? Eita pô. Vamos voltar. Só preciso achar o meu amigo, né? O amigo Solokov Sokolov. Qual é o fandom do Sokolov? Como é que é o nome? O fandom do Sokolov. Será que é Sokolovers? Pego mais comida, na verdade, né? They're coming for me. I finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. É o Metal Gear? That's what they were making you build. É o Metal Gear. The Shacklehawk. The treaded behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. IRBM é um míssil balístico de alcance intermediário. 
Die Wunde Gogo. Não caia da ponte. É a chefa? Boa, são essas? Da mulher das abelhas? Que isso? What the fuck, velho? What the fuck, mano? Metal Gear às vezes tem umas pira, né? Jesus amado. Não entendendo mais porra nenhuma, hein? Kuabara, Kuabara. Ele é o Goku, ótimo. 
us. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. The new blood has been rejected. here now onto Sokolov's research facility Shagohad is ours drift away my place is with them now Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds. Tem que me curar, mano. Diretamente, eu tô dizendo, né? Paramedic. Okay, Snake. Just relax, and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll 
talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left analog stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left analog stick to select the medical item and then press the enter button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Jesus, ok. <risos> Eu faço. Tá. É... Tá. Um... Temos aqui. Um corte profundo. Desinfectar primeiro, né? Daí... Bandagem, é isso? Como caralhos que eu vou curar isso aí? Ué? Tá. Tá, não é um osso. E ok. Eu errei. 60%. E agora... Pra curar? Ok. Um, então, mesma coisa. Vamos botar isso. 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 E isso. Corte profundo. Isso. 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 E isso. Tá. Osso. Tá, vamos lá. Corte. Isso, isso, isso e isso. Osso e osso. Tá, o osso acho que vai ter que ser esse aqui. Já. O que é um splint, mano? Um mini gessinho, né? Preciso de uma bandagem. Porra, mas bandagem tem em todo lugar. Job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Jogo não é feio, né? Padrões de hoje em dia. Oh fuck! Credo, mano, que medo. 
E tinha um esqueleto ali. É meio distante, né, de quão futurista é esse Metal Gear que eles estão fazendo aí do resto do jogo, mas... Take her back to the base. Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy What? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. Esse Kiss of Death é um, é um uma arma escondida dentro de um batom, né? Salvar, né? Interessante. O jogo nem começou ainda, né? É, isso é só um... É um demo, né? Mas é só uma demonstração do verdadeiro potencial. Agora começa.
Quem será que tá por trás desse jogo, hein? Nem consigo adivinhar. É isto? Interessante, interessante. Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? 
the situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKD754, was destroyed. Exato, que seja os Estados Unidos. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your Full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that uh -huh. war. In Russia, you know her as Boyavoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new host. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgin's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? É verdade, né? Não tem como. Tem como alguém acredita nisso? Insiste that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened 
have since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one nuke. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. Interessante, né? Pelo menos isso, né? Olha só, eu, eu corpo. Insiders. insiders. There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volkin's ranks. I've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Control, unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because we're cobra. taking on the boss and our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. Oh, meu Deus. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. Oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You use the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good Não luck. Não fale que o seu nome vai ser Dick, por favor. Kojima. But, but I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency oh, is 140.85. Wow. I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. Think, think, think. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. 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 The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission oh, Patriotas, né? Que é aquele grupo secreto, né? necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent. To the Khrushchev regime, at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Ai, meu Deus. Sim. Mm.